So it's 2025, you want to be able to edit your very own gaming montage, but you don't quite know how. So lucky for you guys, I've been teaching people how to edit their very own gaming montages for the last five years now, and I'm going to be making an updated 2025 tutorial. This is all going to be done inside of DaVinci Resolve, which is a super beginner friendly software. So if you have absolutely no editing experience whatsoever, you're in the right place. So with all that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do once you're inside of DaVinci Resolve, and if you don't have DaVinci you resolve downloaded make sure you go check it out i'm gonna have a link to download it for free at the top of the description so go do that we're just gonna make a new project by clicking on the new project button and we're gonna name it whatever so i'm just gonna call it gaming montage tutorial something like that and we're gonna download it now straight away we're gonna come into the edit tab because we don't want to do anything in any of these other tabs until later in the video and a lot of those features are a little advanced so i'm not going to be covering those necessarily but basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to initialize our project now davinci resolve might actually open up like this for you guys for the first time so if it looks like this don't worry all you have to do is press media pool and effects and that will literally pop up the menu the exact same as i have it so all you'll have to do from there is drag in the stuff that you'll be using so i'm going to be opening my file explorer right here and i'm going to navigate wherever i have my clips so for example i have some montage clips right here they're very very old i'm going to be using fortnite clips for this example so i'm going to give us like four different clips to work with always make sure you press don't change on your thing and you could either do this before or after you add your clips but if it doesn't give you the option to change after just go back and do it you're going to come up here to file project settings and make sure that your settings are set to 1920 by 1080 and also make sure that your frame rate's set to 60 and then you'll just press save that's all you'll need to do but if you want to be editing in 4k let's say you have 4k resolution clips you could edit in 4k as well um so that just kind of applies to 4k resolution footage and that's about it but if you record in 1080 that's not the end of the world but um yeah that's basically that now the next thing you're going to want for your montage obviously is your song now i can't show you guys how to download songs but if you watch a tutorial on how to do it you'll be able to do that uh, because i have had videos get taken down in the past from showing how to download videos from youtube so um i'm not going to do that anyways we're gonna come here and we can pick one of these songs. I have like these Eric Rappard songs that I use a ton. Um, I'm going to do Pay Me, honestly, because that's a pretty good song. We're literally just going to drag it in. Now, all we got to do once it's in is we're going to lay out our markers for the montage, which just is super easy. And you just got to use your ears. That's about it. So we're going to press play quickly. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. And we're going to be looking for these spikes in audio. So we can see right here is where we start to get these spikes. Right here, you see right here, a little bit right here, right here, right here. These are going to be our beat points for adding kills, um, different clips, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to quickly come through and I'm going to add markers by pressing M on our keyboard. Or we could just press the marker button on each of these points. So we can see this is going to be the initial one. We're going to press M. And we're going to do this right here. Add one right here and then right here. Boom. Okay. So that one's a little off, but basically we add markers to all of our points that we want to have our kills and it should be pretty easy to listen to and be able to tell where these markers are going to go. Um, and then we're just going to switch to our blade tool by clicking on this one here and snipping on either side. Now we'll press backspace and click on these portions to get rid of it. And we're just going to drag this over to the left. This is going to be the portion of the song that we're going to be working with. Now, before we even add any clips in, we're going to be determining where the clips are going to be lasting from. So not only do you have to sync the impacts of, you know, your montages where it's like a kill and, you know, you see the effects, that kind of thing, but we're also going to make sure that we're syncing where the clip ends. So in most hip hop songs, it'll be, have a beat for the impact. And then after that, it'll have a clap or like a hi-hat, which we'll be able to use to end the clip. So we're going to go right here. I don't know if you hear that clap. Boom. We're going to add one there. And there's also one right here. There's one right here. I'm going to get rid of this one, though. We're going to end the montage sample right here. Now, just like that, um, if it makes you it easier for you, you can double click and add notes and like write end of clip, for example. And then you'll be able to go back and look and see that it's the end of the clip. So I can go here end of clip, that kind of thing. Uh, you can change that and have that there. So like when you do right here, it'll say end the clip uh, end a clip right here. That way it's easy for you guys to tell uh, what's what. Now from there, super easy. All we have to do is double click on our clip and then use the preview right here. Um, 
so we can see i get the kill right here so we're gonna go to where we get the victory royale and we could add a marker you could press m to add a marker we can't click on the marker button um and then we could drag this into the timeline and that marker will be where we added the marker being the start of the clip so i'm gonna drag this down a little bit but we can see that if we import this now boom and then we could use the blade tool again to cut on where we actually added that end marker. Super simple. Now we can come to here, for example. I got a pretty good clip right here. Boom, we'd kill. So I'm gonna get it right where I get the bullet to hit. Boom, I'm gonna press M. Then I could drag this in. I'm actually gonna find that marker again. I'm gonna line it up with that next kill marker. Super simple process. We just come through and we keep on doing the same thing. And then we'll come through here, find this kill, for example. Boom. You can see the knocked text for Fortnite. It just all comes down to what exactly you're syncing up to these clips. So I'm gonna cut this down, drag it on there. Boom, just like that, super, super easy. And then what we'll need to do is we're gonna cut it on each kill because obviously now that it's synced up and it's perfect, it's ready to go, we need to slow it down because you know that good montages always go like slow-mo at the end, that kind of thing. We're just gonna literally come here and we're going to change the clip speed to 75%. So you see? slow-mo then right here change the clip speed change it to 75 percent and we can see also right here now another thing you also want to make sure to do i didn't do it beforehand uh by the way if you make a mistake control z literally uh is all you need to do right click on the uh after the kill and you're just going to unlink the audio so the video and the audio are separate because we also don't want to be slowing down the audio because the audio is going to sound weird so if we just slow down the clip itself and we come through and we change the clip speed of all of our kills we'll be able to make it look very very good without affecting the audio boom we can see right there and what you can do from there you do a variety of things. Now, I have a bunch of different presets. I'm gonna link a free preset pack at the top of the description. If you guys know how to edit already and you know how to apply presets, you're more than welcome to do so and use those. But a lot of you guys probably don't know how to actually edit. So we can just come into here into DaVinci and add the built-in glow effect. So for example, we got the glow right here. You wanna add a glow right here, you can do that. You're able to, you know, change the shine threshold, all this stuff. It's built into DaVinci itself, which is super great. And we're able to literally just do that, uh, adjust that, that kind of thing. Super simple. Now, if you were to watch one of my montages, it's a little bit more advanced. I'm going to be making an advanced tutorial for you guys to actually use that and follow along with. But all that's left to do from there is add video transitions. Now, DaVinci is great. It has built-in transitions. You can add a cross dissolve where you can see before it goes from one to the next. But if we add this cross dissolve, we make it faster smooth little transition between now we could also do like a non-additive dissolve i love adding these in it's super cool just like that drag that in super simple let's make that a little bit longer perfect just like that and you just repeat the same process for every clip throughout your montage obviously it's a little bit different if you want to add those impacts those kinds of things that i um, showed in other tutorials and talked about briefly now uh but yeah if you guys want to go check that out i'm gonna have another advanced tutorial link down below for now but i will have another advanced tutorial coming soon for fortnite montages specifically because i haven't made a video in a long time by the way once you're finished all you need to do is come to this rocket ship tab right here it's loading for me it's gonna take a second and you would literally just fill in in all the information about the file you would literally pick where you want it to save to and then you just press render render it let it render that's basically that so i would literally just name it blah blah blah, blah pick the location go to finals or whatever final videos add to render queue and i'd press render all and that would export the video to my computer where i could upload it to youtube but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like comment subscribe we're grinding super hard to 100,000 subscribers so every subscription means so much to me if you guys learned something new make sure to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions as well i'll be answering a lot of those down below as well if you guys want to pick up my five dollar editing pack it's absolutely everything you need in order to edit full time that's going to be down below in the description as well so if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later Peace out.